Arguably the toughest question anyone can ask is how do I find Jesus in the middle of my hurt and loneliness? And this was asked to me by a very dear friend and when I heard it I was stumped because yes I have been blessed a lot with beautiful family and so many things and so much in my life that I'm able to do thanks to God's grace. I've also faced a lot of hurt and loneliness that has made me just want to collapse into myself, hide in a corner and completely lose hope in that moment. Let me tell you, for someone who is completely about the hope of Jesus and how amazing life is with him, for someone like that to lose hope, it feels really, really dark. And so I can tell you firsthand that if I were to look at Jesus through this lens of my hurt and loneliness, I would I wouldn't go anywhere near him. I wouldn't be able to see him and and here's why. It's because what hurt and loneliness does is it isolates you. It's the same way a turtle retreats into its shell. And when a turtle's inside its shell, it's gonna take a lot for it to come out and look at the light again because it doesn't trust the outside. There's this really beautiful verse I want to share with you. It's from Romans 8 verse 26 and it says, The Spirit also comes to help us, weak as we are. For we do not know how we ought to pray. The Spirit himself pleads with God for us in groans that words cannot express. This verse is telling me something really amazing. It says that prayer, which is actually the simplest thing any believer can do, just talk to God. This verse is saying that we don't even know to do that. We're so weak and so far from the wisdom of God that we don't have the first clue of knowing what we are feeling and how we ought to pray to the Father in Heaven who made us. And it makes sense. I mean, if we were to create a robot, even with all the high technology and mind-reading abilities, it's not the same as a human talking to a human. So it makes sense that we wouldn't really know how to appropriately converse with God, especially in moments when we are weak as ugh. So when the Spirit of God is allowed into this equation, it rightly changes the question from how do I into how can God show Jesus to me? Okay, because through this verse, we can see that we are highly incapable of helping ourselves. We cannot even ask for help. We can't even pray for help. We're that incapable. And so we need to just allow the Spirit of God to help change this thing entirely on its head. So when we are in pain, we can't expect ourselves to find Jesus, okay? Because all you're going to do is end up beating yourself with questions like, why am I not praying enough? Or why am I not able to concentrate on God enough? Why can't I read my Bible? These kind of questions that just make you feel you're not good enough and it further makes you retreat into your shell. What we need to do first is acknowledge this all is way beyond you. We are pretty amazing human beings. I'll give us that. But there are so many experiences that we alone cannot deal with. Once you acknowledge your weakness, acknowledge God's strength. So now the burden isn't on you to find Jesus or to get help. Shift your focus. Go to a hill. Look down a valley. See the greatness of God, not the greatness of your pain. And I'm going to give you another verse to help. It's in Psalms 55 verse 22, which says, Throw your burden upon the Lord and he will take care of you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Now, it doesn't say the righteous are unshakable or they are not able to carry burdens. We carry burdens all the time and all the time we are shaken. What it's saying is throw your burden upon the Lord and then the Lord will not allow you to be shaken. This burden is the thing that is shaking you and he's saying, child, give it to me. It's made for me, not you. I didn't make you with the ability to carry this burden. I'm here to help you and you need to give this burden to me if you want that help. But how exactly do you go about this? You stop blaming yourself. Stop thinking, if you hadn't done this, this wouldn't have happened. If you hadn't said this, he wouldn't have said that. If you had just been more careful, then you could have averted this danger or that situation would have never happened. You're so lonely because you never allowed anyone in. Stop it. Just stop doing everything on your own. 
understand this the act of throwing is way ahead letting go i have let go plenty of times let's let go something okay i let go this but it's right here i can pick it back up and i let go again and i'm fine and i'm free but as soon as a moment of vulnerability comes it's right here throwing means you gather everything throw it way out of your reach into the arms of god okay it's not throwing to someone who can then backfire upon you or it's not throwing into some kind of weird twisted river which will give it back to you with its waves not river that would be an ocean the truth is nothing can handle this burden except god and you need to throw it to him and he will deal with it he'll not just carry it but he's going to deal with it in a way that it needs to be dealt with and in a way that you cannot it's a great advantage i think that we get to throw our burden to god and we don't have to carry it believe me it's much easier saying it than actually doing it i've taken years to throw some of my burdens forget let go but to actually throw it away it's it's really tough but you need to realize this burden is not meant for you it's not meant to be something that you should keep bothering yourself with and it keeps stunting your growth and yes we have wounds and we have hurt and pain that doesn't just go once you've thrown away your burden okay the scars remain still pricks now and then memories especially really hard to erase but here's the thing we are not alone we're not dealing with this burden alone and that makes all the difference in the world and once you have finally used all your strength and energy to expel this thing from you then you can see Jesus he's right there holding your burden like a tame little puppy for us these burdens are like huge monsters crushing us every day but for him he's our god he knows how to deal with our problems okay he's been dealing with us so And now since you've given Jesus the responsibility of taking care of you he can finally finally prove to you how his strength is made perfect in your weakness. I know this is a lot to swallow. It's it's easy to say and it's hard to do, but it's infinitely better than being constantly stuck in this hurt and loneliness. I hope this helped you. Feel free to email me at the email that I've given in the description below. I'm Vivian Demaris on Serious Sundays. signing off. And I'll see you tomorrow on Miraculous Mondays. Miraculous Mondays. <laughs> Miraculous Mondays. Okay, bye.